Coach Pugh. Hey, I'm, Luke. I'm here with HBCU Game Day. Well, thank you. Coach, I've talked about the fact that you've had a month to prepare for this game. What does a month uh, with Buddy Pugh preparing for a game, what have, what have you been able to uh, scheme up or dial up in terms of how you deal well, with them? Well, Luke, first you got to find a happy medium between too much and too little preparation. Uh, I think you can get to a point where it stales out in a way that you guys kind of get tired of. And it's been a long season. We played, thir we played 14, 15 ball games this, year. this calendar year. So it means we've been, you know, on the football field a lot. And so we've got to make sure that we find a way to make sure that our guys are fully prepared, but at the same time not over-prepared. So it's been a little bit of a make sure we do it just right kind of a deal. I think we got it right. We've been practicing a little bit less. Our practices have been shorter. Uh, we still practice early in the morning. Uh, we practice at 6 and 6.30 in the morning. We're done by 8, you know, so the rest of the day they've got pretty much. And then we had exams in there, too. We had to finish school up, too. So there are lots of little odds and ends things about the uh, – postseason that we've had to really try to work to make sure we got right. We think we got it right, but we'll see tomorrow. A huh? couple of more things. Mm -hmm. Prairie View uh, A&M kind of shut down. Shadur Sanders had him uh -huh. held in the 85 yards. His first game under 200 all season. Uh -huh. You take anything from the Prairie View game in terms of strategy that you could maybe attack them in the same way? Well, let's hope so. Uh, <laughs> you got a game where, you know, there seems to be a little bit of a scheme that seems to give them a little bit of an issue, but at the same time, you never know exactly what the situation was that day, you know, how, you know, he was feeling or whatever. But I can tell you what, you know, anything that we see out there, anything that we saw, you know, in our preparation that looked like it gave him some issues, hopefully we'll try to make sure that we do a little bit of. Michelle's giving me the signal. You know how that is. Yeah, I know. Big, we got to go. Big last question, which is what does this mean? I know you've watched A&T playing this game four years. You've watched Central come to this game. What does it mean for South Carolina State? to be here for the first time? Well, it puts a lot of pressure on The A&T people are beating me up about going and talk to A&T and they can tell you how to do it, you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, hopefully we'll get it right, but at the same time, you know, this is a totally different situation, and I guarantee you, you know, both teams are doing all they can to figure out how to win the football game. Good luck tomorrow, Coach. Thanks, Luke. Appreciate all right. you. All right. Mm -hmm.